Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the sixth video of VMware VCP 5.5 V vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to create ISKC target uh, basically ISKC virtual SAN by using OpenFiler OpenFiler is a you can say open source uh, operating system to provide the uh, storage area network SAN and let's have some idea about my demo environment in my demo environment, as you are aware, we are previously using four virtual machines, one for my DC, Domain Control, Active Directory and DNS installed. You can check out here. This is my Active Directory server, Win2K DC01. And the second one is our vCenter server, v, vCenter-01, which is our vCenter server. You can see I have logged in in my uh, vSphere client here on my vCenter server. and two ESX host ESXi01 and ESXi02 so here it is ESXi01 and ESXi02 so in this video I am going to install my fifth virtual machine which is open file server I am going to name this machine as a ISKC and the IP address configuration is like 192.168.1.20 and I have assigned 1 GB RAM so I have created machine here you can see you can see my machine settings 1 GB RAM 2 processor is enough for this machine and I have added two uh, two hard drive here one hard drive for uh, open fire operating system which is Linux based 20 GB and th 300 around 301 GB disk for like my providing ISKC, ISKC storage uh, drive so I have mounted my open fire installation media here the, I am going to install open file on 2.9.1 and here you can see I have a map uh, one network adapter which is bridge on the same network on which I have configured my lab so click OK and I'm going to just power on this machine to proceed with the installation so I'm going to install the open file and configure the configure ISKC target on open file server so it's booting here open file so press enter to install or upgrade so hit enter so it's loading the kernel running anaconda so here is the open, open file installation wizard click next and select your uh, keyboard so I'm going to use US English click next and here you can see we have two drive here I have a test two drive one is uh, 20 GB and second one is uh, three, 300 GB so we have first drive as a machine detectives are uh, detected as a SDA which is my 20 GB drive and 30 GB uh, uh, 300 drive is detected uh, will detect as a SDB so for right now I am just going to format my first drive which is 20 GB and I am going to click would you like to initialize the drive and edge all data for SDA click yes and now you can see it's asking to a uh, device for like SDB I am not going to uh, edge data on this and create any partition so click on no so now you, you can see we have only one drive here which is 20 GB for the uh, for the open file installation and which is detected by system so click next and uh, remove all partition all data yes go ahead and here I can uh, we need to configure IP address so click on edit and manual just put the IP address 192.168.1.20 and suffix 25 bit and I'm going to disable my IP4 uh, support and click OK. So IP address is configured, and I'm going to put it here. Host name I skashi dot vector dot com, and my primary DNS server, which is 192.168.1.254 in our infrastructure, and hit enter. So next, I don't want gateway to be configured for my ISKC drive uh, servers so here I am going to select ACI Calcutta click next 
and now you have to configure your root password to log in locally on a server so click next and this is the information which is going to install a kk uh, start file contain the installation option selected can be this 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 and click next and now you can see installation is started and it will take around one or two minutes uh, very few minutes to get the installation done for open filer and once the installation done we will um, we will uh, like reboot the server to get the fully functional uh, open filer so here you can see installation is started time remaining 30 seconds so I am pausing the recording here once the installation done we will back so here you can see congratulations the installation is complete press the reboot button to reboot your machine so I am going to click on reboot so it's rebooting the machine hit enter to restart them so open filer ESA so it takes some time to boot the OS So here you can see welcome to open filer ESA version 2.99.1 so web administration, administration GUI so I am going to access this URL on my uh, from my DC01 uh, to log in and uh, configure the for the things which is required to share the learns so I am going to type https colon slash slash IP address of the uh, our open file server and colon 446 enter oops it's need to be 1.20 so your connection is not private because the http certificate so anyway go ahead and proceed with the IP address click on server path so we are on a, a GUI of the web, web administration for the open filer the default username and password for open filer URL is open filer and password is a password all in small so click on login so welcome uh, welcome administrator you can administer the storage device from here so I'm going to click on it and here you can see very we have a very good GUI here like for system we can see all the details about the uh, system system like name IP and kernel version and uh, these detail uptime these details and the uh, network users we have a uh, state statement like uh, network uses and here is you can see hardware information processor and, and model number CPU care size and these all detail and below you can see memory utilization like physical memory kernel and buffer cache everything and mounted file system so we have mounted like only one drive now which is our operating system is installed so go ahead and the first thing I, uh, we need to go and set a few things on every tab like system volume services so the first thing I am going to configure iSCSI target service on this open file so click on service and here you can see iSCSI target is disabled so I am going to enable the iSCSI target and now I'm the service is stop and I'm going to click on this start so now you can see I can see target enable and status running so boot it boot status means whenever uh, so the, the server open file server is going to reboot it will automatically start the I can see target service so we are done with services the only things we require to connect 
our exi host or vcenter for uh, uh, for the like open filer we need icc targets so click on system and now i am going to define here the first thing network access configuration in network access configuration i am going to define my network which i want to access my open filer so zero this is the network i am going to type here on network and host and i am going to put here ip sorry name name i can say i is to c access and select the subnet mask i am using 24 bits so click on update so we have successfully added the acl here you can see the name the host and uh, the host and the network and host and the subnet mask so we are done with this and now i'm going on volumes and on the volume tab we have to do multiple things here so the first thing we need to do here like you can see no no existing physical disk volume we are fine so i'm going to create first my physical disk create new physical volume so we have two disks our 20 gb which is os install and you can see here like 300 gb is free so i'm going to select this and you can see edit partition these all details so we have all the space free available here so i am going to put here like my physical volume and primary starting cylinder ending cylinder leave the all default and just click on create so by default it's used 95 percent of uh, of the disk space to create a physical part a uh, physical disk so we have a physical disk here linux physical volume number one starting ending and blocks and size so you can see here 95 percent is used as a physical disk so good to go we are going to use this and now we have to create a partition on this so now i'm going to create a group volume group here so click on uh, manage volumes and I'm going to put here name like ASXI learns and select the disk and add volume group so here you can see it is defined to the, we have created the volume group and now I'm going to create a volumes click on volume and we have detail here like I'm going to type here we have a volume group here which is ESX learns which we have created earlier and I'm going to type here ISKC disk 01 and description I am going to take disk 01 or you can say learn 01 or learn 0 and in MB I'm going to define like around 100 GB and we need to select here block ISCC or FC ETC so click here because uh, like you can say ESX use ESX host use ISCC or FC to access their uh, learns and I'm going to click on create so you can see we have created ISCC disk 130% use so going to create one more so add volume and we have selected the learn and just create two learn one and define the same size and here you can just click on create so we have two disk ISKC disk one ISKC disk two and we have uh, this space left and I am going to create third partition with this all the rest is space so add volume and type the name 3 learn 2 
and paste the space size in MB and ah, es que sí. so you have uh, so we have created three drive here and now the next step to create ISCSI target so I am going to create ISCSI target here and you can uh, change the name of the ISCSI target so I am going to just modify some settings here like 2016 and I am going to put here my domain name Ter info soul and here I am going to define ISCSI target and click add so we have our ISCSI target and I am not going to change any setting of the ISCSI target here leave the all setting default and just go here on learn mapping you can see we have no learn map with this target so we have three learns we, which we have created earlier so I am going to map all the learns with this ISCSI target so whenever we connect with this uh, ISCSI target we are able to find we are able to connect with all the learns so click map just need to click on map so you can see learn mapped to target this which we have created all the three uh, learns are mapped and the network access you can see here we have iSCSI our network which we have uh, added earlier and just need to click here and we need to allow and click update so we are almost done with the configuring the iSCSI so I recommend you to shut down the host and take the snapshot I'm going to shut down the host so we can use the same configuration on the next video where I'm going to configure uh, like add this all the storage with my ESX host both host so here you can see the machine is shut down and I'm going to take a snapshot like call it iSCSI disk config done so so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query uh, related to this video you can mail me on my given mail id thank you once again bye bye